Here we are at Copo Cabana Beach in Rio de Janeiro. A land of beauty, magnificent beaches, picturesque mountains and a tourist haven, the city of Samba. And Capo Cabana is the most famous beach in Rio. The design of the footpath represents the waves of the ocean. The amazing view from the fort shows the beach overlooked by hills and high rises. Here I am in the Floriano Square in the heart of Rio de Janeiro CBD. I am in front of the City Theatre, the most magnificent building in the whole of Rio de Janeiro. Opened in 1909, it is a two-thirds replica of the Paris Opera. The Arches of Lapa was an aqueduct and is now a viaduct for cable cars. This is the Sugarloaf in Rio de Janeiro. Established in 1913, it is up to 400 metres high at its highest point. You can go up by cable cars. First Urca Mountain, then Sugarloaf. Very, very excited about this. Should be great. Should be absolutely fantastic. We're looking forward to going right up to the top. Should be bloody beautiful. Yeah, baby. The trip is bloody amazing, mate. From the top you can see, Christ in all his glory, Copacabana Beach, and the Guanabara Bay. The Corcovado Railway was built in 1884. It is 3.7 kilometres long. It was a steam railway at that time, but was constructed into an electrified train in 1912. People are going into it now, and it's still in use to this day. This is Manly Matt on top of the world in Rio de Janeiro, close to God with Christ the Redeemer, which is 30 metres tall and was completed in 1931 by a team of French sculptors. From the Corcovado we enjoy the beauty of Epanema Beach and the lagoon. Copacabana, the Maracana Stadium, and the Sugarloaf, and its cable cars. At the end of the day, why not watch the colours of the sunset from the Arpador Rock?